season 2 of Netflix's hit series Ginny and Georgia came to a jaw-dropping finale which saw Georgia Miller, played by Brianne Howie, in the back of a police car. With fans eager to see the fallout of her arrest, showrunner Deborah J. Fisher opened up about the highly anticipated renewal. Viewers were left stunned after Georgia and Paul Randolph's, Scott Porter, wedding ended in turmoil. Georgia's murderous escapades had finally caught up with her after Pi Gabriel, Alex Millari Jr., told police about her suspected involvement in Tom Fuller's death. With many eager to find out about her fate and that of her children, executive producer Deborah J. Fisher spoke on the show's future. She shared, just from doing it in season 1 with Netflix, they wait 30 days to get all the numbers and before we have a talk. What's great is that we all have TVs and we can see that we're number 1. Deborah revealed, I think Netflix did tell us we're number 1 in 84 countries and that was a few days ago, so maybe more. I will say that certainly bodes well for us in 30 days if that keeps going the way that it is. But Netflix's policy is they wait 30 days to see all the data, and then fingers crossed, they will give us a season 3. We're not writing any scripts or anything like that, but we know where we want to go. The showrunner continued, we would love to get in a writer's room up and running to get going with this. Seeing everybody watch the show and seeing all the excitement for the show, I will say that it's been hard to not think about season 3 and where we want to go. Because when, creator, Sarah, Lampert, and I pitched the show to Netflix, we did pitch 4 seasons, so we know what we want the end game to be. We know what we want the last episode to be, Deborah added to The Hollywood Reporter. During episode 9, Georgia decided to put an end to Cynthia Fuller's, Sabrina Gurdovich, grief by smothering her comatose husband. After Tom had survived longer than expected, Cynthia was struggling with the situation and opened up to Georgia. However, as she killed Tom, Georgia was unaware her son Austin, Diesel Latoreka, was in the room watching from where he hid during a game of hide-and-seek. But it was only after Gabriel learned Georgia was in the room during the death that he informed the police. While others suspected Tom died of natural causes, Gabriel has been closely tracking Georgia for the past two seasons. During flashback scenes in season 1, viewers learn Georgia had first killed her landlord and employer Anthony Green, Rodrigo Fernandez Stoll, who had threatened to call social services. After relocating to Wellsbury, she then murdered her husband Kenny Drexel, Daryl Sheeler, and after his death, Gabriel was hired by Kenny's family who was convinced Georgia was behind it. As season 3 is yet to be confirmed, fans will have to stay tuned to see if Georgia will get sent to prison as well as who will be responsible for Ginny, Antonia Gentry, and Austin. Ginny and Georgia seasons 1-2 to are available to stream on Netflix.